guys, this is Jen from FromHeadToToe.com and today I wanted to do a little tag video. Now this isn't one that anybody else has tagged me for, but I just wanted to tag you guys and share with you something that I just sort of thought of. I call this my naughty and nice list for 2010 and I'm going to share with you five products that really disappointed me this year and five products that I really really found that I loved this year. So. I'll start off right away. Number one on my naughty list is this Cora's hair mask. It says hair mask nourishing and hydrating and uh, I just didn't feel like it was very nourishing or hydrating and it smells like cologne. It smells like man. Like <laughs> It's like so incredibly strong. I mean maybe there are people out there who are really into that and want their hair to smell like that for until they shower again but um <coughs> it's just a little too intense for me and i was uh definitely not happy with how it made me smell okay second on my naughty list i love zoya nail polish generally they have my very favorite nail polish remover remove plus but this particular matte nail polish from Zoya, Zoya Savita. It basically started chipping off my finger within 10 minutes of me wearing it and it was pretty much like half off of my nail within an hour, much less lasting through the day. <laughs> I don't know if I just got a dud, what is wrong with this? It's a matte polish so it's not like I wore a top coat to change the effect of it or anything. It was terrible. I've never had a nail polish that chipped so awfully on me like this one did. So number two on my naughty list. Number three, I don't actually have the product to show you because I I didn't keep it around because I didn't like it, but there is a um, Maybelline waterproof eye makeup remover. I, I usually use like more high-end makeup removers because they just do a lot better job of taking off waterproof eye makeup. So I, I went to the drugstore and I bought it. it. It's just in like a little clear bottle with a pink tube. I'll have a picture on my blog. And it doesn't do anything! It's like, it feels really greasy. When you use it, it makes your eyes all blurry. And it doesn't take the makeup off, so I don't know. It just kind of a waste of time and money. It was probably like five bucks which is probably a third of the price of Clinique's eye makeup remover which is really awesome but if it doesn't work that's a waste of five dollars so do not buy that. <laughs> okay so number four on my naughty list is also a product that I do not have because I actually gave it to my mom to see if it would work for her but it's it's a product that a lot of people rave about. It is the Shiseido Sun Lotion. Everybody loves these Shiseido sunscreens. It's like a really light, milky texture. It feels pretty good when you put it on. It makes your skin really matte, it makes your makeup stay on. But it broke me out. I haven't even heard of a lot of people who get broken out from it, but it did not work for my skin at all. And I thought it was something else maybe, so I tried it again and I kept getting breakouts from it. So. I guess everybody's skin is just a little bit different, but it did not work for me. I know they have really high quality makeup, so it's probably just because I have really sensitive skin. But if you have skin like me, then I don't know. <laughs> Can't really recommend that. Number five on my naughty list is another item that a lot of YouTubers and bloggers and a lot of people online rave and rave and rave about. It is the L'Oreal Paris Linear Intense Eyeliner. It's like this sort of like a felt tip thing, which it's really great. The applicator is really fantastic. It has a pretty soft tip. It's easy to use, but it just like chips off of my eyelids. If I didn't get it perfect the first time and I go back over it, it will chip off right away. I really love using false eyelashes and the false eyelashes just don't stick on my eye. If I use this first and then put the false eyelash on, my lash will lift off before the end of the day, almost guaranteed. So I don't know, that's also probably again just like my unique chemistry reacting with it, but I thought I got a dud, I tried it again, it did not work, so I can't recommend this eyeliner! So that is my naughty list. So for my nice list, to start off, if you have already watched my skincare video, you know that I rave about this product. Um, this is called Vanacream. 
I know it looks like really boring packaging. It also comes in like a smaller squeeze tube, but this is actually a moisturizer. It's like super thick. You can see it's not even moving. And no dyes, lanolin, fragrance, parabens, or formaldehyde, because you don't want those things on your skin. This is really great. It's dermatologist recommended. It does not break me out, and it gets me through the winter without having like eczema or, you know, any dry patches. So this is just fantastic. The texture is kind of sticky and weird, but if you get used to it, it's amazing on your skin. And I also use it mixed in with my body lotion, and it keeps me really hydrated throughout the winter. So I love this number one on my nice list. Number two on my nice list, I'm sure you guys could probably guess, but it is of course the Rockin' Republic blushes. You know I've been raving about these for like the whole year. They're absolutely my favorite. And of course my favorite color is Call Me, which is right here. If you guys haven't already checked out beautybloggers.org, they're doing a charity auction, which I've actually donated a brand new in its box Call Me blush. So if you want to help support women in need around the world, then feel free to bid on that auction because Call Me could be yours. But yes, I absolutely love these Rockin' Republic blushes. They are ginormous. They have like incredible pigmentation. They last all day. They don't make me break out and they're beautiful and I have them in a bajillion colors because I just love them so much. So yep, number two on my nice list. Number three on my nice list, you can probably also guess. This is a uh, pretty obvious. I've used it in a lot of my tutorials since I bought it. And it is pricey but it's wonderful. The Naked Palette from Urban Decay. You guys know I already love Urban Decay everything, but this in particular is just so wonderful. The pigmentation is great. I use like all of the colors. Literally, I use all of the colors. They are all used and I can just 99% of the time use this every single day and it never looks bad. Like every color combination just works really, really great and they're full-size eyeshadows, so it's not a bad deal for getting so many colors. I love it. If you can snag it, I mean, they're really hard to get a hold of now, but if you can snag it, I would. Naked Palette by Urban Decay. So number four on my nice list is this product right here. It's called Millennia Mud, and it's actually a hair mask. I know it has really, like, generic-looking packaging, but this is actually a really cool product. My sister-in-law recommended this to me and she's a hairstylist so she actually bought this for me and when I got it I was like hmm I don't know it just has really boring packaging and it smells kind of herbal which is kind of weird and I used it and on the first day my hair got greasy faster than normal but after I shampooed the next time my hair was so shiny and soft. I, I couldn't believe it because the results really lasted more than just that shampoo. It actually lasted through the next couple of them. And I really saw a difference in my hair. What she said is that it puts lost proteins back into your hair. And so that can help your hair to look a lot healthier and a lot softer and shinier. So I love this. This is from Sally Beauty. So you can pick this up. It's about six and a half dollars. Super cheap and it works awesome. Okay, so number five on my nice list is a product I first heard about from YouTube, of course, and I heard a lot of people really raving about this color and I was like, oh, you know, I don't know if everybody really has my skin tone, so I don't know if this lipstick would work for me. But I bought it and I love it. This is Rimmel's Airy Fairy. This color is sort of like a nice light pink with a little bit of gold in it. Whenever I wear this in any of my YouTube videos, I get the most comments on what I'm wearing on my lips. This is just like the coolest color. It looks so great. I have a really hard time with light pink. Sometimes they really wash me out or they're a little too cool so they look like kind of Barbie-ish on me. Not this one. This is the perfect light pink. It does not look too light where it looks like gross on my face and that's all you stare at. It just looks really attractive. And usually I don't like shimmery lipsticks. I'm, I'm much more someone who leans towards cream lipsticks. But this one, the shimmer looks really subtle and really great. And I know I don't know why. The formula is pretty moisturizing. It smells kind of... kind of sweet, like sweet Play-Doh, but not, not annoying or cloying. I don't mind it. 
And not to mention, it's like one of the most inexpensive drugstore lipsticks you can even find. And I love this way more than most of the lipsticks that I have. This is one that I actually keep in my everyday makeup drawer. So I highly recommend this. If you haven't tried it, you should try it because even if it doesn't work out for you, you're not putting out a bunch of money for a product that you don't know will work or not. So yes, I love this Rimmel Airy Fairy. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I am tagging everybody for this. I would absolutely love it if I could also hear your naughty and nice list because I mean we can all benefit from hearing what worked out for everyone else too. So I'm going to also post this on my blog with all the pictures and a bit more details. So check that out at fromheadtotoe.com, F-R-M-H-E-A-D-T-O-T-O-E.com. Check me out on Twitter, that's twitter.com slash fromheadtotoe. This is Jen and I will talk to you guys later. Happy holidays. <laughs>